Welcome. Hey, this is Lex over at Max Future, and this is a first look at a major update to one of my favorite apps for the Macintosh called Fission. Uh, Fission 2 just came out today on September 17th. It's made by Rogue Amoeba, which is a great developer, independent developer of Macintosh applications. It also makes a number of other great apps or programs for the Mac, including another one of my favorites, Audio Hijack, Hijack Pro. And uh, Fission is a lossless audio editor that's been around for a while. And Rogue Amoeba just today upgraded it to version 2. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Now, if you already have Fission 1, you can update for a reduced cost. Uh, if you don't have it, the full cost is $32.00. And let's see, the upgrade price is 15. You just have to give them, give the developer your information, your email, your name, and your code. But overall, it's a really nifty update and adds a lot of cool features that I really like. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so what's new in Fission? Like, why upgrade to Fission 2? Well, uh, there's a couple of things. There's a new interface. They sort of redesigned the interface a bit. And it looks nicer. Here I imported an MP4 file uh, of a, um, I guess, a review I did of Tascam, just to give you a sense. Uh, that's something that's nice. But what are the big things in it? Well, you now have multiple windows. So you, you don't have to close out a project. You just go, like I'm going now, let's say, and open. Op Here's an M4V file. I'm going to open it. And there we go. I've got two different files. Uh, this is a tip I did. So you can have multiple windows open and multiple files open. This is great. Uh, another big thing is you can um, you have more choices in terms of exporting in cross-format conversions. This is really important for me because I like to convert my podcast to MP3. And before you really couldn't do it um, in Fission. And now you can, and you basically go up to File, and you go to Export. You have more choices now. You've got MP3, AAC, ALAC, FLAC, AIFF, and WAVE. And you've got a lot of choices for MP3. You've got Medium, High, uh, Low, and under High, it goes as high as 256K. Um, you also have Custom, so you can do your own mp3 custom choices you go all the way up to 320 kps so you've got a lot of choices you can e also increase the the kilohertz there so that's really big also you have a batch converter now so that you can uh, save a single audio between any of its audio formats um, and it can transcode multiple files so that's kind of cool you can queue up a whole bunch of um a whole bunch of, uh, like, uh, you know, audio files. But, you know, look, if you've never used Fission, what's great about it is the editing. But before we go to that, let me just discuss some other new features. So you can now add chapterized AAC files. So basically, let's say this Tascam one, I wanted to export as an AAC file, which is like a, a format that Apple uses for podcasts. But you can have, like, links and, and photos. So all you do is you create a split in here. You go under Tools, you create a split wherever you want it, where you have a new chapter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend I have a new chapter there. Add Split, Set, and then you've got these headings for the different sections, and, and you just change them. Uh, you can change the, the tags. Um, you, can, you, know, you, go to the, you go to the inspector over here, or you just click on on uh, the uh, the heading there for the section, and you can you know change the URL title. You can add a URL. You can add artwork. You can add tags. You could say start. Let's see what happens. I write start, and there we go. Now I have start there. The next one is going to be second. And I'm going to go select next clip and third. 
So I've created third. I've created three sections. Um, and you can add in artist. Uh, you can add in notes or comments. So you can really chop up an AAC file. And then when you want to export it, you say save as chapterized AAC. You can also create ringtones here. You, you just select like a 40 second area and then you go save as iPhone ringtone. So you got to chop it down to 40 seconds or less and then you can uh, okay, so this is a sa save it to, to uh, it'll just go dr directly into iTunes and will become a, a uh, ringtone that you can sync with your iPhone. So it's, um, it's very cool. Uh, other, you know, other uh, new features are SoundCloud support. That's that cloud-based uh, service where you can send your audio files. And if you have an account, you can share directly with SoundCloud. Let's see. I think if you go, yeah, there's a share under files to SoundCloud. I don't use it, but it is helpful. I mean, the other big thing is it's got full FLAC support. Uh, and uh, also WAV file su support. So these other audio formats are really great. So look, I, I love this program and uh, I think uh, you know it's a great tool to have for chopping up audio. It's lossless, so you can chop up audio and save it uh, in a lossless manner. So it's really a great uh, upgrade. If you already have Fission, you should get Fission 2. And uh, I really like it. So check it out.